we're making our way to the site of the plane crash in the village of Grabovo. Now, we've just passed a checkpoint of anti-government fighters who we had to convince to let us in. They've warned us that for our own safety, we should not come. We've decided to go. We'll try and be there as quickly as possible to see what the situation is like on the ground, and then we'll get out. Already around 12 to 14 kilometers in that direction, before we even drove in, we were seeing on the ground some of the remnants of the plane that are still lying there in the field. It's still unclear what part of the plane this was. There are those who think it was part of the cockpit. There are others who think it was part of the tail. And as we were driving through, there were actually parts of the tail that have been scattered all over the place. This was the field where most of the bodies were sprung across. And over here, there was an inferno. This place was literally littered with bodies. And even now, as you come, you can still see some of the personal belongings. Here is a, a child's sneaker. Here is a remote control for the television set in the plane. Here is a toothbrush, toothpaste, playing cards. Clearly people were going on holiday. As I say, this place was completely littered with bodies and although the bodies are no longer here and they were demarcated on the day with white flags, although you don't see any of that, you certainly can see where that tragedy struck. This seat is quite well known because on the night that the plane crashed, Many photographs were taken of the man who was trapped here with his legs and his feet sticking out on either side. As you can see, the body has been taken, but the chair remains. A lot of stuff is burnt, but everything else is in place. Local residents have been warned, and they aren't moving anything. They understand that those things shouldn't be touched. We will do all it takes for the sake of the investigation. We want to know the truth. This is where the main body of the plane fell. As you can see, there are still the remains of tires and parts of the engine. Of course, many people lost their lives here as well, and this debris is not going anywhere. The Ukrainian Prime Minister Yatsenuk has met with the Malaysian Defence Minister, who's in the country with a team of some 30 experts. From here, the Malaysian delegation will be travelling to both Russia and the Netherlands to coordinate the investigation. A final report is expected out in the summer of 2015. Paulus Lea RT, Grabovo, Eastern Ukraine. Tragedy struck on the 17th of July as the airliner was crossing airspace above the conflict zone in eastern Ukraine. All 298 people on board were killed. It took investigators three days to get to the crash site and two more to retrieve the flight recorders. The investigation and efforts to send the bodies home were plagued by fighting in the area. An international police force was deployed, but the probe on the site still had to be wrapped up in early August because of the hostilities. The uh, early results are now set to be released. They include information from a cockpit voice recordings and the flight data recorder, as well as a satellite images and radar readings.